Right. Yeah, I don't blame you, Ashlyn. It would put anybody in a bad mood to almost get, you know, hit by a meteor. And it would especially put her in a bad mood, since as an alien, she has to admit, uh, you know, that meteor... Yes, Again, flame, maybe the second or third Let's time meteors have been crashing down into the ground around us. It really, there's something suspicious about it. And I don't think that she wants to really talk about why. Not yet. I mean, you know, it's not Rocky though. You can stop glaring at Rocky, Ashlyn. <laughs> but could it be the beginning of a brand new plot arc that may be weaving its way organically into our series? Why yes, yes it could. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and not have Ashlyn glower at Rocky by summarizing her tense thoughts uh, with just letting you guys know that she does happen to know that there was this alien, another one of her people actually, who was sort of bipping and bopping around this particular galaxy. And uh, he did kind of have a... Um, he did kind of have a, a habit of uh, yeeting meteors around, which kind of sucks, especially when she happens to actually be on the planets that he might be throwing said meteors on. So, also, what's going on over here? Aw, oh, she's taking a nap, and then Rocky, what do you have going on? I don't know what your problem is, but I bet it's hard to pronounce. Tetsu, you have been so rude our whole life. Oh my gosh. I bet Rocky cannot wait to do something with you. Oh, you both, oh, you know what? You two, go ahead. Why don't you just straight up have a sleep? Forget a nap, just go to sleep at this adorable little bed that I love to imagine that Ashlyn made most of the knitting things for because she absolutely adores doing little handcrafts like that. It's one of the reasons she's on the planet. Her people really tend to live rather isolated in their own personalized spaceships, and they don't tend to actually spend that much time together, and they don't have a home planet anymore, so it's quite novel for her to actually be on the planet, and it's quite novel for her to actually have a chance to spend time working with things with her hands, instead of just having to fix machines all day. That's one of the reasons that she loves, like, little handicrafts, and she loves knitting and things like that. Hates woodworking, though, and hates doing handiness skills because she's so sick of repairing, like, spaceships her whole life. But, um, yeah, speaking of Ashlyn and speaking of new things, the meteor! <laughs> we could not almost die to a meteor again, especially when I was not paying attention and it was completely by happenstance and chance uh, that we both almost got hit and that we noticed in time to save Ashlyn's life without there being some sort of side effects. One of those side effects is that Ashlyn is just a little suspicious and wondering if, you know, the UFO crash of her personal house UFO, it'd be like your, I guess, galactic RV getting smacked by a boulder. <laughs> uh, but her UFO getting hit and like getting wrecked here might have come from being uh, smacked with a meteor. And she does happen to know there's a bit of a jerk of an alien in the area who loves throwing meteors around. It's a bad habit of his. And now here we are with a bunch of meteors. And that may explain why the Sims in Black are actually searching for aliens for the first time on this planet. How they're not really trying to be secret, but since they're so small in numbers, uh, secret existence has almost been blown. And why Ashlyn's being hunted by a government agency that probably wants to make her disappear. She's beginning to realize maybe that's not just a human thing. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason. Maybe someone's giving aliens a bad name and also gave her a new ceiling light that has blasted through her floor. Yeah. <laughs> I just could not have that happen and not have some sort of cool little side effect. So last time we had another one of these glowing crystals land and it actually popped over here. This is the one that almost killed Rocky. You know, remember how I joked last time? about the whole alien crystal or the whole like why would we buy the crystals for the new crystal pack off of the sims market for less than the cost of a couple croissants in simoleons so that we could not have the grim reaper show up with that whole like jet and the hematite i think it is that would keep the grim reaper away remember how i kind of like scoffed at that and said that was too easy 
I also kind of felt like almost getting hit by a meteor immediately after. I was like, bah, that's too overpowered. We will have to make it more difficult for ourselves. And almost losing Ashlyn as soon as we resume our adventures with them. Was that karma? Was that crystal karma? Do I need to be a little bit more respectful of the power of these gemstones? Possibly. Just possibly. Also, Geppetto, please, would you stay out of the bush? You're just getting nibbled by the squirrels all the time. Uh, but yes, so since last time we had Rocky get this really freaking cool, really awesome looking meteor that landed in their yard and is just like smoking constantly and hugging up against here, I thought this time around we would have Ashlyn's almost killed her deadly meteor blow a gigantic cave hole in the ground and it just has all of these cool rocks all around it and has started to finally continue to expand the massive cave system that I want to build. Oh, what is this, Minecraft? I guess I do want to do that like that. Well, here we are. <laughs> But um, the massive cave system that I could see this becoming one day finally has a really cool looking expansion that may or may not have cost every single thing I could find in the household inventory and a lot of our precious harvested plants that I was trying to save for Rocky to smoosh into like whatever potato nectar. Well, I guess I guess he was working on some potato nectar. We'll have him work on something in a minute here. Um, but I had to sell a bunch of stuff in order to make this happen, so don't worry. Still working on the rags part of the Rags of Riches challenge by making sure we paid for each of these pebbles. Uh, but yes, so Ashlyn's Almost Deadly Meteor made this really cool new entrance, and by happenstance, when I was trying to put that together, uh, <clears throat> I, you know, this cave happened to be discovered in the debug mode that made me very excited, that this cave happened to blow up and um, the, the walls fell down and the entrance to it was revealed by the meteor falling. And it is actually the cave to Dreadhorse Caverns. Finally, finally, <laughs> you know, so we're no longer stuck uh, having to wait for, oh, uh, three quarters of the day to go past while Rocky and Hercules meander their way itty bitty slowly down to wherever the freaking cave is somewhere down here. I know it's around here somewhere, possibly next to all of these alien plants that have also started showing up because they probably like got sprinkled all over the place when poor Ashlyn's um, UFO ended up crashing. It's all the way down here. But you know, cave systems, they happen to be all over the place sometimes. So now that we managed to survive another meteor accident, um, we now have this cave too, so that we can go ahead and start exploring it more often. <laughs> and we don't have to wait for an extremely pregnant man to waddle his way all the way down to to go and go ahead and try to um to get in there. Also, there you go. There you go, Rocky. Enjoy your vegetable dumplings. Don't enjoy what on earth? Oh my gosh, we've got to clean this up. Like, here, I'll help. Honestly, Rocky. Why is this so cute? Also, when did you grow a beard? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of happened all of a sudden. Oh, and look at all of the little kids toys we've already started to collect. I love that. I think he's really starting to be like, wait a second. And actually, this is a good thing too. Because Rocky realizing that he is pregnant with alien twins was something I was worried that he would actually try to make himself famous. Try to go viral on Simsock again by, um, you know, being the only guy he's ever known to go ahead and have alien babies, let alone twins. He doesn't think that's weird because obviously he was hot enough. The aliens wanted a piece of him. So, yeah, he, he's got the ego the size of the sun. He was going to try to go ahead and since he would just assume it was, you know, all about him, maybe get famous that way. Terrible idea. Really bad to use your children for internet fame. But he was going to need to be talked out of that until he got distracted by something new. Something new and shiny. And that's these crystals, which I very, very much am excited to go ahead and uh, work on some more. <laughs> Especially if we happen to find some of that jet or something else akin to it, because I would like everybody not to die. Uh, all right, what, what what's going on here? Are you are you having some uh some issues? Okay, look, I'll clean that up for you. How about that, Rocky? And then, would you like to come and maybe poke at these crystals a little more? There we go. 
<laughs> so that's kind of where everything stands right now. Oh, oh my goodness. The onion layers of catching up with everything that's been going on on the ranch is so... Is, Geppetto, leave that poor squirrel alone. Is so overlapping and consistent. But I absolutely love it. But all right, now that we've absolutely made everything quite a bit more complicated for ourselves, let's go ahead and at least turn to the latest thing that's trending on SimSock, the crystals, which do happen to be attracting Rocky's attention and hopefully we'll be able to go and find some more crystals pretty soon. They have to be somewhere out there in the world. And maybe they're even at the new cave systems that we have access to, especially because it seems we can just straight up think travel this cave which would be kind of fun maybe we'll do that with ashlyn in the morning because the um the oh oh it worked i thought he messed it up but he actually did it look at how cool this is wow it's really shiny i really like it very shiny this is this is why rocky is not trying to make viral videos of himself he has gotten completely distracted by these wonderfully shiny gemstones that's really fun. So what other ones do we have? The rose, which helps with social needs. And then we've got, oh yeah, that's, that's right, the rainbows, which helps with the brave trait. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Oh, and then when slotted into the celestial crystal crown, which we do have because we had literally started to learn how to use the properties of crystals from Ashlyn, AKA being able to use the crystal crown for all sorts of great things before all of this started going down. But uh, let's see. So that periodically makes nearby Sims happy and recharges all needs except energy. Man, that's really good. Recharging all of your needs. This guy's bladder is the size of like a, a, a peanut because he's been having to, to like deal with all of the baby like bouncing. So I kind of think about that. But also, hmm, being able to go ahead and have some sort of really cool crystal cut, that would be really awesome as well. Oh, and I think Rocky actually leveled up his skill too. So where's our gemology skill? Or I guess, yeah, it's gemology, I believe. Where'd you put it, Rocky? Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's so many of them now. Oh, so now he's at level three. Uh, let's see. And I think he got a little notification about it a minute ago. Wow, I've taken a lot of pictures. There we go. Rocky is more likely to find crystals and metals while digging at rocks. That's really fitting for him. And can design lunar goddess jewelry and cut seed-shaped, seed-shaped gemstones. Rocky, this is not a drill. Like, I think that he absolutely needs to check out what's going on with that. But also, let's try charging this on the crystal grid. This is the crystal grid that has uh, emerged with the arrival of all of these very interesting SimSock things. And with this Carbacon-shaped gemstone, excellent quality, since, you know, Rocky can actually really focus on something when he wants to. Uh, we can go ahead and you will gain mental skills much faster. I wonder, gemology probably counts as like a creative skill. Oh, can you not reach it? Reach it? Okay, hang on one second. What about now? Better? There you go. I figured they needed a few decorative rocks that would tumble down from, you know, almost having their house blasted in by a meteor. How many can we charge at once? Just one or can we charge multiple? Oh, wow. And you can charge the jewelry too? Maybe? Yeah, look at that! So you can have, oh, wow! You can put a whole bunch of them down. I wonder if you can just drag them on and off. We'll have to find out. All right, let's see what we can cut and do now. So the seed shape, seed shape gemstone. Gaze into the multicolored depths of this mystical seed and just imagine what kind of wondrous plant will grow from it. All right. That sounds amazing. We need more simoleons before we can do that. But I could totally see Rocky doing that to give maybe Ashlyn. <gasps> he could give her the rose as a seed and maybe it'll grow into something cool. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have to possibly sell. You know what? Actually, I could see how that would be encouraging for him to finish this potato nectar so that he can go ahead and put that into his little apple seed. I think this is actually called, if I remember correctly, yeah, the Rocky Apple Seed um, little container for, there we go. 
Can can you get in there, buddy? Maybe. Are we thinking about it? Maybe maybe this is maybe this is a bit much. This late? No. Just gotta no. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was something. Oh, there we go. I think he just needed to think about it for a minute, or not. Okay, okay, you know, maybe making, maybe making, um, potato, uh, potato nectar at who knows what time in the morning, two in the morning is not the most efficient use of your time, but still, all right, I'll have to figure out what's going on with that, but it's, it's just the ever chaotic chaos of trying to make sure that all of the mods are not, like, yelling in frustration forever at each other with everything that has uh, changed since we have gone ahead and we have jumped into everything. Let's see. Rocky. My, my dear Rocky. I appear to have... I appear to have broken Rocky's brain. <laughs> You don't need to worry about it then, dude. Let's go ahead and let's get you. Maybe now that he's feeling super confident, let's let you go ahead and shower and then maybe we'll get you off to bed. How about that? There you go. There you go. Oh, I've missed him so much. All right, off he goes. Meanwhile, I guess we get, oh, low hobby need, <laughs> look. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. He's feeling so tired because he's just like waddling around and he now has a low fitness hobby. Working out, jogging, rock climbing, yoga, or swimming would help out. Well, maybe we'll let him go ahead and do some working out in the morning. I could see him enjoying that. But all right, so yay! New giant hole in the ground that a meteor almost blasted in. Oh, I forgot we even had this already. Oh my gosh, Ashlyn, get out of here. Two in the morning is a perfect time for you to come on out and work on the spaceship. Also, she wants to make out with Rocky, which is adorable. And also a bunch of your plants are being like attacked by who knows what kind of bug. Uh, all right, look, you grab some of that, that milk bread and then we're gonna have you come on up and... Um, oh, wait. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna have her spray the bugs and they're literally our bees. <laughs> Never mind, please don't spray the bugs. <laughs> Oh, and we've got a whole... Wow, look at that corn harvest. Oh, that's going to be so much money for being able to go ahead and cut up some gemstones there. And you know what? Maybe I only will have them go ahead and instead of making their life even more complicated and hard, let them start exploring um, this forgotten grotto. Because I could see how the cave systems being smashed apart finally have opened that up as well. And I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. All right. But maybe we'll do that later, because I think they're both pretty tired right now. All right, Ashlyn? Oh. A thousand simoleons to get the materials for being able to get the rocket ship up. Right. That checks out. Why don't we go ahead and why don't we pull in... Do we need the harvest or do we need to sell it? Because normally she tries to sell her harvest to other other sims if i remember correctly um ah oh, but i can't remember doing that though so let's actually just go ahead and let's have her harvest all for now and then we'll kind of go through everything oh she looks so perfectly ready to be out there gathering a bunch of corn and also rocky are you going to sleep oh good sleep well buddy sleep well i i just I just am gobsmacked. <laughs> what? I forgot how we have like will wispa wills that show up because it's and, and like passing shorebirds because this place is just like overflowing with mystery and ghost horses and all sorts of chaos. This is this is rather amazing. All right, keep it up, my dear. If you don't mind gathering basically everything that you can find, um, we might we might be able to actually start that rocket ship. Especially while Rocky is sleeping and Ashlyn is kind of reflecting on her suspicions that she happens to have about who or what may be causing all of those meteors to fall from the sky. And then at some point we are going to pay attention to the poor horse, I promise. Ah! No, not the bees! Oh, 
Oh, and also her being afraid of this thunderstorm is actually a special moodlet that may have popped up. Not because of thunderstorms, but because of stuff falling from the sky. Uh, and also the thankfully it's safe outdoors piece of that is just perfect for it. And we have the lot trait just because I wanted to really hammer home the whole meteor thing. We now have the lot challenge trait of volcanic activity. So earthquakes, steam vents, and occasional lava bombs will be arriving until that villain uh, is dealt with. But since that's going to be quite a while, we're going to just kind of leave that be. <laughs> no pun intended because we happen to be working with the bees. I think she'll go ahead and maybe try to like take care of them and calm them down for a little bit so that she doesn't get just absolutely stung to death while trying to put together her rocket ship. Ah, <sighs> how am I going to take care of these goats and, and raise this horse and do everything else? Well, the truth is I may have a certain someone in mind, a certain friend that these, these groups have been able to start to put together for the ranch to riches. I may have somebody, somebody in mind who might be able to come and help us as a ranch hand, but we'll have to look into that at a different time. Also, let's see what's going on here. Please, um, let's see, remove bird, er, bird keeper, <laughs> remove beekeeper suit. There we go. And Ashlyn, if you don't mind, anything else? Oh, you could collect some of these insects. And if you don't mind cleaning up this manure. And should I water all these plants? I think it'd be really nice if she watered just the plants that were in need. Ooh, and maybe she can collect this wispa will. Because that would be a very wonderful... Oh, is it disappearing? That would be a very useful thing to be able to go ahead and maybe sell so that we could say that she's just gaining some like research knowledge of the area. Ooh, oh, and the little dust guys! Oh, I love how many bugs are out here. Probably because we keep it very wild and natural around these parts. No, Geppetto! Your food dish is empty! Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna need a little bit of help. And we probably should go ahead and, um... Oh, we should probably figure out how to get, like, the, the treats to be able to heal our cat as well. Do we have those? Do we have them? Oh, I, I need to get... Okay, clearly a lot to do. A lot to settle on in with. Um, all right. And I'm going to have to go ahead and instead of putting more layers on top of our ranch onion, <laughs> actually just start focusing on making sure that we can get a few of the important things done. And taking good care of our animals is absolutely at the top of that list. I wonder if we should start making our own treats even because not being able to get our cat, the cat me like medicine that he needs, can we order it online? maybe let's see is that something we can get hmm hmm we don't want to browse art um let's see household buy we could just buy a whole vet clinic with our 132 symbols <laughs> okay let's see i wonder hmm order there we go and then Ah, and I forgot Rocky's commun mandatory community services today, too. Uh, well, I guess we have to go into town anyway, so that would be a good time to go and try to see if we can find some medicine for our cat. Maybe there's a Wild Western-themed little vet place that we could go ahead and find, because that would be kind of amazing. We are not purchasing crystals straight off of, like, Sim Sock. That just makes life too easy. Spice market, wedding cake, upgrade parts. Oh, pet items. Yes! Oh, that's so much better. All right, let's see. Let's see. Wellness treat. That would be really good. I think we need... Do we just need the wellness treat? I think so. And then, let's see. For stinky... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I think they just need some wellness treats. And so we'll go ahead and order what we can. Do we have them or do we have to wait for them? Oh, there they are. Yes. Okay. We can actually take care of Geppetto. Oh, wait. Oh, we're fixing the slime. So we're also taking care of our little slime. Maybe the slime is, uh, we found it as a cave slime, but maybe it also is helped out quite a bit by the fact that, um, you know, there we go. 
<laughs> could you please? Could you please? Okay, look. Ashlyn, we also need to take care of the cat. Oh my gosh, please. Uh, go, me? Oh, Can you throw this away for me? No? Are we, are, have we decided that the composter is no longer like a friend of ours? Okay, I'll, I'll get you another trash can. <laughs> Where's our poor cat? That's, that's not a cat. That's a goat. <laughs> Geppetto, Geppetto, where are you? Oh, we're coming, Geppetto. Hang in there, buddy. Okay, we got to make sure that this is taken care of. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, let's see, check needs. Uh, treat pet. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Did you better just scare the goat, like, half to death? <laughs> oh, look, and there's a little desert lizard. I am beginning to realize this place is a little busy with a lot going on all of the time. Oh, and now he's asleep. Well, you know, we were trying, Geppetto. We will try. Hopefully he's going to be feeling better soon. All right. Another day of chaos as we go ahead and settle back onto the ranch. But as I begin to assess all of the different things that are going on and we start making a list of priorities, well, I'm going to make sure that we shove the animals way up top and then we'll just have to go from there. So, Rocky, you literally slept most of the time, my friend. But hey, next time, maybe we'll be able to go ahead and Rocky and uh, Ashlyn can start exploring some of the cave systems that have opened up, see what opportunities that provides, and we can see if the crystals got charged. Maybe they need to be outside to do that? Probably. Probably. I wonder, does it say if they're charged or not? If charged. I bet they need to be outside. Under the moonlight. That's going to be really interesting. And what happens if you cut something into a C-shaped gemstone? We'll find out then. <laughs> Until then, sleep well, Rocky. It, it, it probably is a little stressful having your house almost completely caved in by a meteor. Good luck, buddy.